It's me, it's Tree, and I'm about to review something. Okay, guys, real quick, I'm headed to North Carolina in a couple hours. Woo, 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 flying on a plane. And I was like, I can't go without reviewing these so they're not old when I get back. They're probably not going to be old, but these are from Trader Joe's, I think. They're from Trader Joe's. They're called the, woo, the Wandering Bear. So what I want to do is um, just take a sip out of both of them, or all three of them, and then just let you guys know what I think about it. Real quick, real quick review. So real quickly, these are organic. Organic coffee, organic cocoa, at least for this one, because um, this is mocha, or an organic coconut milk i'm super excited these were not like these were not super expensive because we all know organic can be a little expensive these were not i would pay for these can't remember exactly the price i'll put it up there on the screen once i find it but um like i said this is from wondering bear let's see what else we need to know coffee on the go 300 milligrams of caffeine no sugar ever well I already know I'm going to have to put some sugar in that because I need sugar. And 100% dairy-free, 30 calories. And I like just how no-nonsense the ingredients are. There's just one, two, three, four, five ingredients, including filtered water. All right. So I have vanilla, mocha, and original, straight black. This is how Trevor would like it. I wanted him to, to try today, but he had to work because someone has to make the money all right real quickly i'm gonna go ahead and try this one first i already know i'm not gonna like it because i don't like my coffee black but i will try it for the sake of the video and then ah, sorry and then oh my god these are really hard to open and then trevor will probably drink this one when he comes to get me it smells like coffee mm, it smells like good coffee all right here we go that's black coffee However, great, like, undertone, like, it's a really good coffee. Like, if I had sugar and, and creamer in that, I would drink that every day. No lie. Also, it's not winter. I mean, it's not summertime. It's winter time. So, who's drinking cold coffee? I don't know. Someone out there, someone out there is a weirdo. Is it you? You're drinking cold coffee in the winter time. I know you are. All right. This one's the vanilla. It's my favorite. As we all know, there's a hint of vanilla. I don't smell it, but it's a little bit creamier. The color is a little creamier. You can really taste the vanilla in that. But it needs some sugar. Ooh, I need some sugar in my life, y'all. So this is sweet with coconut milk. I feel like coconut milk definitely is a little bit more watery. But they've brewed the coffee really nice. So it's a good balance between the coconut milk and the coffee taste. I think creamer-wise, creamy-wise, that type of cream to coffee ratio is great. I personally just need a lot more sugar. And then last but not least, the mocha. I love this packaging, guys. Look how cute that is. It is so cute. And you can recycle it, which I like. I think this is cardboard. Don't mind me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, this one's the mocha one. Tastes like mocha. Tastes like chocolate. That's, I mean, that's nice. It tastes like chocolate. This one tastes like vanilla. Exactly how I would want it. <laughs> I just need some sugar, y'all. But I do think it's good. Like, I really, really do think it's good. Like, I don't know. If you guys don't like a lot of sugar in your coffee, you would love this. Um, anyways, it said make sure you shake well. I don't think I shook very well, but you get the gist. Anyways, okay, this is just a quick review under five minutes. Hope you guys liked it. Talk to you later.
Thank you.